Representative Park Cannon spoke with reporters today one week after state troopers arrested her at the state capitol. She says that experience was painful, but that she'll never stop fighting for voter rights. Representative Cannon was arrested after knocking on Governor Kemp's office during his live speech following the signing of Senate Bill 202, which some believe is a form of voter suppression. Voter suppression in Georgia is alive in one stroke of the pen. I am reminded how important it is to stay focused on the issue, the issue at hand. Governor Kemp has spent a lot of time this week defending the law, saying it gives people more opportunities to vote and is not meant to disenfranchise anyone. Did this bill uh, gives people more opportunities to vote. It's not disenfranchising anyone. And a lot of the narratives out there that this uh, crowd's pushing that has a financial agenda are, just aren't true. I think it's important to note, though, that 134 of the 159 counties that we have will actually be expanding the hours of operation, giving people more opportunity to vote in this election, not less like some are claiming. The governor continues urging all Georgians to read the law in full. You can find the highlights of the 95-page bill on 11alive.com. Representative Cannon says she is facing up to eight years in prison. Her attorneys will work to clear her name.